In one of the earliest campaigns of the Clone Wars, Anakin Skywalker, Obi-Wan Kenobi, along with a few other Jedi were notified that a group of Gungans who had settled the Naboo moon of Oma Dun had lost contact with their leader, Boss Nass. Believing it to be the Separatists staging an attack on Naboo, the Jedi and their clones went out to investigate. When they arrived, they found the Gungan settlers all dead and with large red spores on their bodies. After destroying the Inspector droids, the Jedi and their clones were ambushed by Dirge, a Separatist-aligned bounty hunter who was an expert in killing Jedi. During their fight with him, Dirge unleashed a chemical weapon known as Swamp Gas, the same one used on the previous Gungan settlers. With everyone infected in seconds, the Jedi ordered a retreat, but before they could escape, their escape route was blocked off by Asajj Ventress. To make matters even worse, Ventress was able to use the dark side or probably even Night Sister magic to reanimate the dead Gungan corpses to fight for her. This was actually the first encounter between Ventress and Obi-Wan. Fighting a severely injured Obi-Wan, Ventress was able to best and outmaneuver him with ease. Had Anakin and Art Trooper Alpha-17 not came in for the rescue, Obi-Wan would have probably died right then and there at the hands of Ventress. After a successful escape, the Republic eliminated all the remaining Gungan zombies and was able to prevent the Separatists from attacking Naboo with the same chemical weapons used on the Gungans on the moon. Though this event did show the Jedi the real horrors of war, and that no one was safe from the war's chaos and the suffering that it brought. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to subscribe for more videos like this one. And as always, may the Force be with you.